not going to church today. I'm not going to church today. I'm not going to church today. Hello, and welcome to I'm not going to church today. many reasons why people don't go to church um, some because they can't get out some because they don't want to some because they can't stand the thought of it whatever reason for not going to church you're welcome to this space we meet in the name of Jesus Christ who is our Lord and risen Savior in this Easter season we celebrate that Jesus is alive the Holy Spirit of God moves amongst us and between us let us have a, a short word of prayer loving Lord God we thank you that you are with us, that you are alive in our lives, that the spirit of Jesus comes to us, calms us, heals us, strengthens us. So wherever we are in our life at this moment, we pray that we might sense your Holy Spirit with us, whether we meet you in nature, whether we meet you in each other, whether we meet you in the stillness and the quiet or the busyness and the noise. Lord, may we notice you this day and every day as we worship you wherever we may be in jesus name we pray amen at that time the festival of dedication took place in jerusalem it was it was winter and jesus was was walking in the temple, in the portico of Solomon. So 
The Judeans gathered round him, and they said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, but you did not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What the Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. So here's a little crowd of uh, Pharisees who want to, to know more. They, 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 they desperately want Messiah to come, but they can't quite say publicly out loud that, that this is the Messiah. They, 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 they want to know more. They, they ask questions. Don't, don't keep us waiting, they say. Are you? Are you the Messiah? Now you listen here. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Now go away. And as usual, Jesus is a, a, not obtuse as such, but he wants them to do the work for themselves. The same way you've seen the things I do, I've told you already, you know, by the way I speak, by the way I am. And in John's Gospel particularly, he makes it very clear that he is from the Father and the Father is in him and, and the, the two abide in each other, Im implying that, yes, he is the, the Son of God, that he is the one who has come, the anointed one who is Messiah. But he's asking them to do the work. They have to look and see and work out for themselves. When he talks of the kingdom, when he talks of new life, when he talks and lives a life of, of, of love, then they have to look at that and think, well, is this, is this the sort of life the Messiah would live and the Messiah would lead? And he basically says to them, look, you do the work. And you have to work out for yourself whether you are a sheep of mine. I am the good shepherd, he says in John, and, and the sheep know my name. So if you believe me to be Messiah, then you'll grasp what I'm on about, and you will know yourself to be my sheep. You will know my voice, you will hear me, and you will follow, and you know you, will, oh, you, you are held by me, and I will never let you go. And because you're held by me, you're also held by the Father, and the Father's love will never release you. But you have to work out for yourself whether you're a sheep that listens to the shepherd that is Jesus. And we all have to do the same. We have to do the working out. Now in Methodism we have this thing called the Methodist quadrilateral. Some of you might not have heard the phrase but you might know um, the idea behind it. There are, there are four ways we, we, we hear God. Um, one is in scripture, but it is not scripture alone. It's, it's one is in scripture. Uh, the other is um, in, in the traditions of the church, all the stuff the church has done, and that's the church in its widest possible sense, not just the organised religion of Methodism or indeed the Church of England or the Roman Catholic Church, but the church uh, Catholic, that everybody, absolutely, whether they go to church or not, um, the, the, those poets, the, the songwriters, the, the dramatists, the, the dreamers, the prophets, the preachers, the, the lawmakers, the, the whole bundle that is the church, in there God is working. We learn something of, of God through there too. We, we are asked to use our reason also, the third thing, scripture, the tradition and our reason. We have to, does it, is it reasonable, our faith? What? put our, our brain into gear use our faculties you know we're not we're not of a tradition that throws science in the bin and says oh science is is challenging god no science is the thing that reveals god to us and does faith work in our modern age with us as who we are as human beings and all we know about life it's up and ups and downs but in the world says jesus not of it but in it and in it we have to use our reason to make sure our faith works fourthly we use well our experience our experience of prayer and worship and God and living and fellowship and one another some say we, the, the fourth fourth quadrilateral is is the Holy Spirit but it's the way we engage with who we are and the world what's our experience of God 
And when we consider scripture and the traditions and our reason and the work of God in our lives, then we can answer for ourselves the question, are we sheep that follow Jesus? Well, for me, I say yes, but we all have to work it out for ourselves. God bless you in your journeying. Meh. We are fully aware of the, the world situation. It's uh, the, the, the fighting in Europe uh, makes us realize there's fighting across our world and we, we continue to long for peace as we've probably done all of our lives. Uh, I'm not gonna have uh, words of prayer. I'm just going to uh, share with you a, a song from Engage Worship. And as we go into Christian Aid Week, um, after the song, we have a, a Lord's Prayer led by the Christian Aid workers from across the world. You are a refuge for the weak An ear to those too crushed to speak You promise rest for weary feet God, you care. You carry those who carry pain. Bring bursting life to desert plains. Give dancing hearts to those in chains. God, you care. You have arms that reach the lost and the lonely. A heart loves those with no love at all hands to heal the hurt and the hungry you are the god who cares you stand with those who stand alone a shelter for those without a home Every tear that falls you know Cause God you care You have arms that reach The lost and the lonely A heart that loves those with no love at all Hands the heal The hurt and the hungry You are The God who Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord watch over you and give you peace. May you know his love today and every day. The love of a parent, the love of a child, and the love of the eternal spirit always be yours. God bless you. For whatever reason, you're not going to church today. Lord, you sometimes speak in wonders Unmistakable and clear Mighty signs that show your presence Overcoming doubt and fear Oh Lord, you sometimes speak in wonders Sometimes speak in whispers Still and small and scarcely heard Only those who want to listen Catch the all-important word Oh Lord, you sometimes speak in whispers Sometimes speak in silence Through a loud and noisy day We can know and trust you better When we quietly wait and pray Oh Lord, you sometimes speak in silence speak in scripture words that summon from the page shown and taught us by your spirit with fresh light for every age O oh Lord you often speak in scripture Jesus, always new yet still the same. Teach us now more of our Savior, make our lives display His name. O oh Lord, you always speak in Jesus.